Okay, we're going to continue to talk about polynomial long division and the cases where we have missing terms. So again, sometimes we will face a division problem where our divisor, dividend, or both are missing terms. So in the last two videos, we talked about the case where we're dividing into a polynomial with missing terms. So basically the dividend had some missing terms. And in this case, I told you that basically for your missing term, so for example, if the x squared term is missing, you just write zero x squared. Okay, the zero is just gonna act as a placeholder just as it does when we have our, our number system. In this video, we're gonna talk about dividing by a polynomial with missing terms. Basically gonna use the same format to get around this problem. So let's say we have something like, and I'll write this in standard form kind of to make it easier to nurse. So let's say we had three x to the fourth power plus five x cubed minus eight x squared minus 13 x plus two. And we want to divide this by x squared minus five. Okay. So if you look at this, this dividend here, the first polynomial right now is in standard form and we're not missing any terms. We've got an x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and then you just have two. If I look at my divisor here, I have x squared and then I have negative five. So I'm missing my x to the first power. So when we set up our division, okay, when we set up our division, this is gonna go as normal, 3x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed minus 8x squared minus 13x, then plus two. Okay, so that's the kind of usual setup. But for x squared minus five, what we're gonna do, kind of scroll over a little bit, we're gonna put x squared, and then I'm missing my x term, so all I'm gonna do is put plus zero x, okay? and then minus five. So basically this is acting for my missing x term, okay? It's just that easy. And if you don't end up putting that in there, when you start going through the division, you're gonna realize you messed something up. So we start just as we normally do. We have x squared, which is our leading term over here, into three x to the fourth power, our leading term over here. And the answer to that would be three x squared. So remember your place value. That's gonna go here. Right, you gotta keep this in line with where the x squared terms are gonna go, okay? Now we're gonna multiply. Three x squared times x squared is three x to the fourth power. Three x squared times zero x, let's write that as plus zero x cubed, okay? And three x squared times negative five is gonna be minus 15 x squared. Now again, I keep kind of going back and forth in each video, you could put some parentheses around this whole thing and put a subtraction sign out in front, or you could just you know change the sign of each term that's being subtracted right here. Whatever's easiest for you, it doesn't really matter. I kind of like to do it this way personally. So three x to the fourth power minus three x to the fourth power is zero. Five x cubed minus zero x cubed is five x cubed. Negative eight x squared minus a negative 15x squared, so that's negative 8x squared plus 15x squared, that's gonna be positive 7x squared. Okay, so now we're gonna bring down the negative 13x to my next step. And I can erase this plus zero over here, I don't need that. So now it's leading term into leading term again. So x squared goes into 5x cubed how many times? Well, that's gonna be 5x times, so plus 5x, and let me just scroll down here so we kind of get this all in. 5x times x squared is 5x cubed. 5x times 0x, we're gonna write as plus 0x squared. Then 5x times negative five is negative 25x. Okay, so we're gonna subtract this polynomial away. 5x cubed minus 5x cubed is zero. 7x squared minus 0x squared is 7x squared. And then negative 13x minus a negative 25x, that's basically like saying 
negative 13x plus 25x is going to give me positive 12x. Okay, let me scroll over a little bit. Last thing I need to do is bring this 2 down here. And I got one more division to do. So I'm going to go leading term into leading term. So x squared goes into 7x squared how many times? Well, it goes in 7 times, so plus 7. Okay, 7 times x squared is 7x squared. Then 7 times 0x, we're going to put is 0x. Then we have 7 times negative 5, and that's negative 35. So if we look here, we have 7x squared minus 7x squared, that's 0. Then we have 12x minus 0x, so it's basically just 12x. And then we have 2 minus a negative 35. That's the same as 2 plus 35, so that's 37. So we end up with 12x plus 37 as our remainder. Okay, so we found out that the answer was 3x squared plus 5x plus 7. And then our remainder was 12x plus 37. So how do we write that? So we're going to put plus 12x plus 37. Again, this is the remainder. And how do we write that? Well, we write it over our divisor. So over the divisor, which is x squared minus 5. All right, so how are we going to check this? Well, again, as we've been doing, we're going to multiply the quotient, which is this right here. This is our quotient. By our divisor, which is this right here. And we're going to add the remainder, which is this right here. And that's going to give us this right here, which is the dividend. Okay, so let's check this out. We got 3x squared plus 5x plus 7 times x squared minus 5. Okay, 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth power. 5x times x squared is going to be plus 5x cubed. 7 times x squared is going to be plus 7x squared. Then we have 3x squared times negative 5, that's negative 15x squared. We have 5x times negative 5, that's minus 25x. Then we have 7 times negative 5, that's negative 35. Okay, so now we have what? 3x to the fourth power. And then plus 5x cubed. And then we have 7x squared minus 15x squared. That's going to give me negative 8x squared. Then we have minus 25x. And then we have minus 35. Okay. So now what we would need to do is we need to add our remainder to this, which is 12x plus 37. So plus 12x plus 37. If I combine like terms, I have 12x here and I have negative 25x there. Let me just rewrite this. We're going to have 3x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed minus 8x squared. Negative 25x plus 12x is going to give me negative 13x. And then we have negative 35 plus 37. That's going to give me plus 2. So we end up with this right here, 3x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed minus 8x squared minus 13x plus 2, which is our original dividend. 3x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed minus 8x squared minus 13x plus 2. 